Hi everyone, this is Dinagran and welcome back to the YouTube channel RPA Space. So today in this video, we are going to see uh, like uh, content related to uh, Blue Prism. So similar to what we have seen in the last video, we will be able to see how to extract data from Excel using uh, Blue Prism here. So lastly, we have seen uh, how to do the same with the EOI path. Now a comparison, like go, how to do the same activity using uh, Blue Prism. So what basically we need to do the extraction when we deal with Blue Prism is you need an action stage and uh, that should refer your uh, MS Excel PPO for a create instance and open workbook and followed by that you should have a Git worksheet as a collection which, which does have a three different option. You can either use Git worksheet as a collection fast and uh, offset. I'll show it in the workbook options when we have a clear practical session. And uh, in UiPath, you have a uh, uh, data table as an output. Here we have a collection as an output. And post that, you have to use close instance to close the Excel, what we have opened. The basic need for this is like you need a default MS Excel VPO, which is required. And the, the reason why I mentioned default is like it's already inbuilt with the Blue Prism, which uh, they've, uh, whenever you install, it will be available in your C drive. I'll show you where that is also available. Right. Without any delay, we'll just jump back to the theoretical, sorry, practical session and see how this happens. So this is uh, Blue Prism and uh, like as a best practice, I just wanted to give you a quick hint on that as well. For example, if you want to deal with any Excel related extractions, which you want to perform, it's better to deal with the process level, right? Don't do any data extractions or Excel manipulation things in object level, which is not highly recommended by uh, Blue Prism. It's not something if you do, it will not allow you to run. It will allow, but as part of the best practices, it's better to do that. So I'll just uh, create a sample process for uh, Excel data extraction. Just uh, read input. Uh, then give us finish. So as soon as I just created it, you could be able to see a default page which just contain mail. And now we'll follow what are the steps which I've already shared you. So you need an action stage. Action number one, you just had to, from as soon as you double click, you in action properties, you will be able to pick your business object. Just from the drop down, you had to go for a default folder, and then you had to go for Excel. Right, which is Microsoft Excel Vivio. And in that, you had to use just, you had to use for a create instance first, actually. Right. And uh, if you want to enable events, you have to pass this it true, but for me, I don't need that. So it just need a handle. Handle is one of the most important things for you because it will help your instance to manage. Instance is nothing but Excel, uh, which has been opened. So you don't need to rename every time when you create an action stage, as soon as you double click and manage that. This is a VBO name, and this is a page name in the VBO, which will get automatically populated in version 6.3 uh, or 5, I guess. Right. So now I've created a handle. It's better to create a like a block for input, whichever piece in an input and whichever is an output. So for now we have output is handle and uh, creating uh, instance. You have to open an instance. You have to open that Excel from where you want to read the data. So it's the same thing. You have to go to Microsoft Excel VBO, and uh, from here you have to use like open workbook, which is nothing but yeah open workbook which will ask you an input as two parameters one which is a handle which is already as an output from previous action which is nothing but this action produces output of handle that you have to pass it to open workbook which is where i passed and file name right either you can hard code this as a file name or you can just create it as a variable and store it so for now what i just will uh, uh, create is like I'll just go ahead and create a variable and then I'll pass it here so that I'll leave it blank now. For workbook is an output, uh, workbook name is an output for this uh, action. So as I said, to pass the path where the Excel is placed, Excel input as a path name, and that that had to be a type of text and just go to your folder wherever you have this uh, Excel file and you just had to like pick 
whatever is uh, available for you like a ps path and just go here and uh, just have to paste it and what well, as soon as you paste that you just will your value will be within the variable now you have to go here and choose the uh, variable name which is where your input is placed and from that input you will be able to read the data right now just connect this to and uh, you just have to refresh if you see any output uh, error so there is missing like yeah it's not connected now after uh, open workbook your, our main objective is to read the value from the sheet right so for that again like you have to go to ms excel vpu and then pick get worksheet as a collection so as i already mentioned in the theoretical but you have three options get worksheet as a collection get worksheet as collection pass get worksheet as a collection offset so if you get worksheet as a collection so it will ask you handle workbook name and worksheet name but if you give get worksheet as a collection fast, it will not ask anything, whichever be current active sheet in the Excel that will be pulled out and stored it in the form of a, uh, like output data, right? So for example, if you want to go for a half set, right? It will ask you handle workbook name, worksheet name, which from which cell you want to extract the data and if you want to include header or not. So these are the parameters which is uh, accepted, which are the three ways where we could extract the data. So I will just go ahead uh, simply with worksheet as a fast because I don't want to give any uh, hard coded values or anything related to particular sheet names or worksheet names. So whichever these are available, current active cell, just extract the data. That's what I just mentioned it here. So it, it just left it as it is. So this is going to be an output uh, for uh, get worksheet as a collection stages. Let me put it like uh, output here, right? Okay, so once I mentioned this as in like uh, get worksheet as a pass, right? And then I had to close my instance, else this Excel will be like left. Sorry, you should not need to rename it, but you can just go ahead and pick MS Excel VBO and then click close all instance so that whichever be the Excel instance open that will get closed. Close so if you since the reason why it is not auto populated the action property name i've i've uh, like edited it so it's not uh, like getting auto populated but if you didn't do any changes then it will create automatically which is nothing but the object name and the page name of that particular instance so this is how you could like uh, create an action stage and which will be helpful for you to extract the data from uh, Excel file using a blue prism. So if I run it, it should hold some data in the data variable, uh, data collection, and let's see how it happens. So it's just creating an instance, probably depends on your system speed, it will be able to run. And it will open a workbook. So it says like you don't find any workbook and probably the object uh, issue is coming in. And the reason why it is like I have given this thing in double quotes. Just have to edit that and uh, try to run it. Perfect. So you can see if Excel was able to pull some value from uh, the Excel which I've showed, which I've stored it so that like it, it can be able to extract. The reason why we used fast is like you don't need to feed any input as such like worksheet name, workbook name, handle, those kind of things. If you specifically want to use it, pass this as an input parameter to relevant data type, whatever is available. Right. Now, my like I'll, I'll show one more thing in case if you are new and if you don't know and if you don't have ms excel video in your blue prism what you had to do is like you have to go import your object and what will be your path is like it should be under c program files blue prism limited blue prism automate and under video folder you have a lot of default folders which is available from there you have to pick ms excel video and open 
and then click next next so that it will get imported so that's how your default views will be imported into your uh like uh, sorry default uh, full default uh, videos will be imported into your environment right so like this is what i just want to cover and that's um, that's how it is simple and easy to extract the data using um like a blue prism with uh, excel and i'll be attaching this uh, like uh, objects for your reference uh, or the process for your reference so you can just download it and export in your systems as well so Thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day. Uh, please do share and subscribe to our channel so that I can get more video related to that. And also, I'll also upload or I'll also give a card for uh, uh, comparison, which is uh, related to UiPath, the same similar activity. You can just compare and explore both. Thank you.